Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about the contacts service that's built into Maverick's server. Now contacts uh, obviously includes your uh, address book, so it's got all of your various contacts that you might have from your different services. Uh, for some of you using iCloud, you may have contacts on iCloud, you might have an exchange server at work where you have contacts. And so this is your address book. This is where you have all of your uh, phone numbers and addresses and all of those things uh, put together. Now, there might be a time where you decide, hey, I'd like to have my contacts private. Uh, maybe you don't want to risk names getting out. Uh, maybe you're in one of those kind of businesses where things need to be confidential. And so you'd like to run your own contact server so that all of the syncing happens mainly just between your uh, home server and then your different devices. And so built into Maverick server is the ability to do that. You can sync this from iOS devices to um, other Macs uh, across your system. And so you can set your own service up. So I'm going to show you how to set up the contact service, and then we'll take a look at uh, some ways you can use it. Now, uh, here with contacts, this is the service right here. Uh, like we've talked about before, uh, it gives me an access area, which tells me whether it's on or not. You can see the service is off. There's no green uh, dot here or over here, so we know it hasn't started yet. Uh, there is a tutorial where you can learn more about configuring the service, if you'd like to have that available to read. And then basically we have this settings area right here. Very simple area, um, not much there. There's push notifications. Now they're enabled because we enabled them when we uh, put the calendar server together. And so if you haven't looked at the calendar tutorial yet, uh, you can go back and take a look at that and that'll show uh, how we enabled the push notifications there. You basically just uh, click this edit button and then it uh, brings you into putting in your Apple ID and it creates a certificate for you. Uh, then the only other option we have is to allow users to search the directory using the contacts application. And that allows uh, your users to search the directory that you have set up over here with your users, and it puts that directory inside the contacts application. So we're just going to check that just so that you can see what that looks like. So that's about it. Now that we've got it set up, we just throw the switch, and that turns the service on. And so it's starting, and we wait until we get that green dot on both of these, and we know that everything's up and running and we can connect to it and there we go you can see a green dot there and there it says that it's available at our server and we are all set and ready to go the service is, is live so what I'm gonna do now is I want to show you how to set it up on your client machines and then we'll watch how uh, the sync and stuff looks uh, going across that so let me uh, show you how to set it up on a client okay here we are over on uh, one of my remote Macs and so I'm logged into that to show you how to set up a client now with the newly set up contacts service so you want to go into system preferences and you want to come down to uh, internet accounts you want to click uh, click that and that's going to load your internet accounts for you and then uh, what you want to do is add we're going to add uh, contacts in here so we're going to come all the way down we're going to add another account and we're going to add a card dev account. Now, if you haven't set up uh, the server aspect of this yet, uh, you would just uh, do the add server account and put it in that way. But since we've already done that for uh, calendars and reminders, uh, we'll do this uh, this way to show you how to do it. If you're not trying to add the whole server, you just want to add this one service. So you add a uh, card dev account and you click create. And then what it's going to do is it's going to ask you for your username, password, and your server's address. So let me just put in that information here real quick, and then we'll create the account. Okay, now that I got all the information in there, I just uh, click on Create here. And it's going to verify the information to make sure that it's right. So it's checking it out with, uh, with the server. And uh, once it's done doing that, uh, you can see now that it has uh, added a contact server right here. So I've got all of that information ready to go, and uh, I can add some of the other uh, information as well on here. Now, the difference here is as to why it added a separate one instead of this one, is I logged in under a different user on this one than I did on the contacts. And so I can actually add the calendars and reminders from this account as well if I want to do it that way. And uh, I could just, uh, if I just uh, click on these, it will actually add the calendars and the reminders uh, that I've got on the server and sync those all under one. Uh, what you're not going to see is you won't see the contacts themselves as a box to check. Uh, they've sort of removed that, uh, assuming that when you add contacts that you want it. And so uh, basically that's how you add that on there. All right, so now that we've got that live, let's go ahead and see what it looks like when we pull up the contacts. So I'm just going to, uh, let's go back to show all. Let me just put this down here, and I'm going to launch contacts. Okay, so you can see here is the contacts uh, application pulled up. You can see I've got OS 10 server over here, 
and I've got directories. You can see all contacts. I don't have any because uh, there's no contacts that have been added at this point. Uh, you'll notice I've got uh, all directories over here. I've got directory services, and I've got server. Now, because I had added the service to be able to search, then if I come over here in directories, I can start typing the name of somebody and type that information in there, and it'll do a search of my directory, and there it pulled up somebody I have in my directory. So this is somebody that's actually got a user account uh, on my server, and so their information shows up on here. So I am able to search for uh, the various uh, people that are sitting on my server uh, through here. Uh, let me just click this off. Now, the one thing that is different, though, is I want you to notice something. You can see here with all contacts, there's none. Now, what I'm going to do is let me pull up my uh, contacts here on the server. And just to compare them together, you'll notice that actually for me on all contacts on server, I've got myself and I've got Apple, but I don't have that over here on uh, this one. And now that's because uh, of the fact that uh, basically I created an individual contacts account. So uh, I'm not serving myself. I'm not uh, sharing the contacts account with uh, my wife, who I set this up for, let's say. Uh, because it creates individual accounts when we set it up that way. Okay, So I logged in as her, and this is what her contacts are. Logged in as me, this is what my contacts are. Now, if you wanted to share contacts across uh, to one another, uh, you'd have to basically set up a different account. And so what I'm going to do, let me show you how to set that up in server, and then I'll show you how it works in terms of syncing these things back and forth. Okay, now I'm back in the server application. Now, if I wanted to create contact accounts where we would share one contact account, Instead of each of us having our own, we want to kind of share a, a family set of contacts. What I would do is I'd come into the user accounts here, and I would uh, click a plus, and I'm going to add an account called Shared Contacts. Oh, let me get that uh, capitalized there. Okay, and uh, I don't need an email address or anything. I will put in a, I'll put in a password for it. Just to keep it simple, and then I'm going to create this account. And so you can see now I've got a shared contacts account that I've created. Now what I need to do is I need to go in and add that account uh, to uh, both of the machines that I want to have share it. And so as I've shown you before, let me just get into system preferences here. Uh, you do it almost exactly the same way as you did before. You come into internet accounts. You come down and add an account like I showed you here. You'd add a car, a car dev account. And then in here, you're going to put in your uh, username, password, and server address. And this time for the username, you're going to put the, the account you just created. Okay, now that I have all that in there, I go to create this account. And now it's created that account. It asks if I want to use calendars and reminders for that account, which I don't. I just want to leave it as... Uh, shared contacts, and so I'm good for this one. I don't have to worry about it. Let me just close this down. Now what I'm going to do is add it on my uh, other client machine, and then I'll show you how they sync together. Okay, so now I've added uh, the accounts to both. You can see I've got this all uh, server uh, contacts area here. They both have it. You notice they both have nothing in them. So what I'm going to do is just uh, I'm going to add a new contact in here, and I'm just going to put uh, Joe Smith and um, you know, just put an email, joe at smith.com, let's say. And I'm just going to add that in there and say done. And so it's going to add that contact now into uh, this particular uh, account. And you'll notice that here it is. It showed up on top as well, and now it's just sunk right over. And so you can see that this now is a shared account. And so you could use this, like I said, if you wanted a family shared account, you could put that together. And then as members of your family add contacts, they get added to everybody's contact list uh, right there inside the server uh, application because you use that shared contact. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use uh, the contacts in different situations and will get you set up with your own contacts uh, server as well. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.